YouTube, I'm here again. This is a video response video response blah, 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 to a video Lawn Boy Post 1975 put up about his favourite um, gaming sort of memory when he was a kid. Uh, before I begin with that, I'd just like to say you're absolutely right, Lawn Boy. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is the best Christmas film, bar none. The film is great, there's not a bad scene in it. Just about this guy who wants to have a good Christmas with him and his wife and his family and how you know you can appreciate you know like the crazy stupid arse we're too hip to have Christmas neighbours, um, the annoying relatives we all have them, like don't deny it, you do, just just like even this even the chains on you whoops the top top of the post off in his staircase. Anyway, I digress. Right, so my favourite Christmas story you now. This took a a lot of thinking about this one. Um, it doesn't actually begin at Christmas, it begins about six months prior to that, in July, when my mum dumped a, um, it was either a little woods or a keys, mail or a catalog bang on me and told me to go to the computer section basically if I was getting a computer for Christmas, which one would I like? I think previous to that I'd been banging on about the ZX Spectrum my Auntie Carl had had and by this time BBC, the computers in schools had actually got BBC Micros into my primary school so I had some limited exposure to that, however it was always the good kids that got to play it and I don't care what you say, I know those teachers are fucking favourites and I was not one of them, that's why I never got to use that damn machine Anyway, so mum plunks the catalogues down and we got the computer page Now, three choices, there was the 48k rubber specky, I've got one up there There was the Amstrad CPC 464, now if I remember correctly I either came with a green screen monitor or 12 games. I don't think it came with both. Or there was the Commodore 64 that's across there. Now what made this choice really interesting was it wasn't just for me, because I, I knew my best friend Kevin who lived across the road, his mum and dad were buying him a computer for Christmas. So whatever one I picked was the one he was getting. <laughs> um, I think I actually came doing such a stupid thing back now. It's like the Amstrad was almost my choice. Um, but I think the fact that the monitor wasn't colour put me off and then the Specky man you had one and yeah the games were good and stuff but I think the actual pack that was on sale at the time because it wasn't like, like the later Amstrad Plus packs with decent games it was kind of a... I think the games were rubbish so I plumped for the Commodore 64 Now what I think back now this is like either 89 or 90 you know these things are not cheap my mum was a single mum with two kids living in a council flat you know we were poor um, I don't know how she afforded it. What was even better was about, because after I picked, and of course I never heard nothing about it again, um, after I had picked um, that, must have been about November, December, I was out shopping with my mum, my little sister, my grand and granddaughter, who are sadly no longer here. We were in Little Woods. Now, if you were a little, Little Woods in the 80s was like a big department store. and. Next to the stairs that led up that way, there was a wire mesh, a white wire mesh thing that all the like tape games used to be in plastic containers used to hang on, and I was told to pick two games because somebody my grand that knew was getting a computer maybe like the one I had asked for. I picked two games for me to give you to Christmas. Now one of them, um, I can't remember the name of it, the, the other one I definitely remember because it was a damn good game, it was Rescue on Fractalus. If I remember, I'll show a picture up there. Awesome game where you basically um, search and rescue. But spaceship, go down, rescue pilots. I think the first time I saw that alien jump up to the screen, but shot myself. So, Christmas comes round, Christmas Day, and he gets that pack, the Hollywood pack. So that's like Platoon, and well, pretty much Platoon and Rambo's all I played. It was rubbish at Platoon, but Rambo was pretty good at First Blood Part 2. That really funky theme tune. And, well, that, what made it even better was, you know, because in the house we had two TVs. We had the big TV in the living room. It was probably, like, I think it was a 24-inch box that my mum rented. I think it was on radio rentals. But when she rented it, it's part of the only game she got a free TV. It was a black and white one. It was about a tiny thing, like this big. <coughs> Excuse me, it was white. I know it's because my, my late grand grandma still had one till in fact it's still in the rented house right now, um, had a dial on it for like tuning in the stations 
and that's the TV I had in my bedroom. So for the first year of me having this Commodore 64, that was what I played it on, in black and white. Because my friend Kevin across the road, he, he'd got one of the other packs, he'd got one with the light gun um, pack, which I ended up with it later anyway, but um, but he'd had a colour TV as well. And I was really not very happy about it, he had a colour TV and an Amiga, eh, Commodore 64, the Amiga happened later. But Christmas, so Christmas Day comes, I opens this and I'm just... All I wanted to do was just play it all day, but of course, the usual Christmas Day with us, we had to get traipsed down to the family for a meal, or we all pretend we actually liked each other, and etc, etc, but, yeah, I pretty much played that thing for six months old until the damn thing went pop, and it just refused to play games at all anymore. Cartridge games like Jupiter Lander worked, but um, take games didn't, and after a lot of, come on, blame me, the usual way, but it was Commodore's crap manufacturing, so... That got sent back and it took months, but mum got her money back totally refunded. So then she bought the um, the Light Fantastic pack. I'll put a picture up there, that's the other one, the Light Gun. So I, But mum didn't send back all the Rambo games, so I got to keep all the Rambo pack stuff. So I had both packs. It was great. Yeah, uh, but I had that for years. I had that for I think many years now. I ended up at high school and then there was the. The year everybody got an Amiga 500 Plus, and I had to wait a whole year until I got my 600 the following Christmas, but that wasn't very good because I was like. Because I kind of began to resent the Commodore 64, but yeah, but certainly I just played the shit out of that. And my friend Kevin and I had dozens of joysticks. I had 200 plus games on tape, and I'm not just talking copy games, I mean real games. I Every penny I had went on that damn machine. Disease. Um, even games in the archive, and remember, I just have images of just. Even this day, I'm really grateful for my mum getting me my first ever real computer, Commodore 64, just an amazing machine. Even now, I'm still blown away how good it looks sometimes. But that's my video response. Commodore 64. Christmas. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you next time.